If you've been looking for a GTA Online RP server, then look no further than Grand RP. They have truly one of the best open free servers on the market. Whether you're brand new or a veteran, go do yourself a favor and go down below in the description. Click that referral link and register now. And entering Grand Now as a promo code will earn you an extra $25,000 of in-game money to start your brand new GTA RP life. Thanks again, Grand RP, for the sponsor, and let's hop right into it. What's going on, guys? It's Jacob, and we got some amazing news from Rockstar themselves on their Rockstar Newswire, confirming their GTA Online update in the coming weeks, as well as some of the features, as well as the future of GTA Online, and some of the updates and fixes and changes that they will be bringing to the table. There's a lot to go over, so I'm just going to read straight from the Rockstar Newswire. It's a whole lot of great, great news, let me tell you. Once we finish up with the Newswire, I'm going to explain some of my thoughts as well. I want to know what you guys think as well down below in the comments, what you guys think about this. This is good news. Let me tell you, I already read through it and I'm super, super excited. So here it is, Grand Theft Auto and Red Dead Online Community Update. I'll read through the Red Dead Online stuff at the end, so I'll let you guys know when you can skip, but I'm going to go through the GTA stuff first, of course. As we look what's in store for Rockstar Games community in the weeks and months ahead, we'd like to take this opportunity to thank you guys, blah, blah, blah. We are excited to share you the first details around upcoming updates and more. And here is a screenshot from the upcoming update. Notice that they are wearing an IAA badge. That's important. With more players than ever taking the streets of Los Santos thanks to the recent launches of PS5 and Xbox Series, we'll be working to improve the overall GTA Online experience with the new gameplay updates, adding top community requested experience improvements and upgrades to make it easier for players to enjoy everything GTA Online has to offer. In the few short weeks, there will be a new update coming to GTA Online on all platforms and expand upon the criminal careers of blah 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 alongside a set of contact missions that presents the opportunity to be sworn in as a special IAA field operative to investigate a budding criminal conspiracy a budding criminal experience criminal conspiracy so we're finally going to become kind of like a cop a special operative for the IAA which is kind of cool which is a CIA in real life so that could could be really really interesting and fun but like they said it's only going to be contact missions so it's not going to be like some heist or anything like that or story missions which it, it could be still it still could be pretty cool this update will also feature some changes that have been long requested by the community such as reducing the effectiveness of the homing missiles and countermeasures of the oppressor mark ii finally they're bringing it Finally, offering a more convenient way to access snacks and armor, the ability to launch cell missions and invite-only sessions. Finally, there are just a few more experience improvements that will be coming this summer, so we're going to be seeing them pretty soon, probably through the new update in the next coming weeks. The GC Online will continue to incorporate more player feedback and other learning, mo learnings moving forward, learnings moving forward, okay. Sorry, I can't read. We'll also be increasing some of the GTA money payouts throughout the game to reward players for their time. This is probably one of my favorite updates so far. Regardless of what they choose to play, there with such a wide range of things to do in GTA Online, we believe that increasing these payouts will allow people greater freedom to do what they like and get what they want faster. Bodyguards, associates, and MC members will see payouts increased to encourage and reward cooperative play. Thank you, God. Along with increased money payouts across activities, including greater payouts across races, adversary modes, and select heist finales. So we could probably see some increased payouts in some of the old original heists that came out seven years ago. Finally, this is what I've been talking about all along for like the past year, is taking some of those old old modes and heists and stuff and increasing their payouts that's fantastic uh, plus our continued commitment to specially curated seasonal events additional bonuses and gifts community challenges and other surprises uh, for los santos man's dynamic and is unpredictable as ever 
Uh, I'll be giving my thoughts about this whole little article by GT Online in a second, but I'm going to go over the Red Dead Online stuff for you Red Dead Online fans as well. We would like to thank the Red Dead Online community for their continued support and dedication over the past few years. been steadily moving development resources towards the next entry of Grand Theft Auto series, so they do confirm that they are increasing their resources and work towards their new Grand Theft Auto, understanding more than ever that we need to exceed players' expectations and for this next entry to be the best it can possibly be and as a result we are in the process of making some changes to how we support red dead online firstly we with both new and experienced players engaging in wealth of activities and already added to this massively rich world including specialist roles story-based cooperative missions competitive showdown modes and much more we will continue to showcase these unique additions throughout gt online's monthly events as we move forward so all players of all levels can enjoy this fast blah blah, blah. so i really don't think that they're gonna add, be adding any new updates but just i don't even hold on alongside seasonal special events and experience improvements other changes to enhance and maintain a healthy Red Dead Online environment. We plan to build existing modes and add new Telegram missions this year. Rather than delivering a major theme content updates like in the previous years. Ah, uh, that sucks. We will continue to highlight and share the creative efforts of the Red Dead Online community. Once again, we'd like to thank Blah, ah, man. So, nothing cool coming to Red Dead Online, but lots of exciting news for GTA Online, of course. So, like I said, lots of exciting things to finally unpack there. For years, I've been saying, Rockstar, you need to take these old heists and missions and stuff and just increase the payout so they're worth doing. Or, you know, make cooperative gameplay through businesses just more doable and more rewarding for the people helping you sell your sell your cargo or whatever you could have someone help for every single supply mission for a bunker resupply fill it all the way up and they'll get a measly like what six dollars while you'll get like a, a million dollars and red dead online actually did a pretty good job of making that work out way better they will get a much better increased payout in red dead online if you cooperatively help you know do the sell mission they they actually made that really good and of course, it talked about some of the gameplay changes that they will be making to the Oppressor Mark II and the homing missiles and the countermeasures. They're finally going to be listening to us. Maybe we just had to go through a couple of shitty, shitty years with the trilogy and just some of the bad updates and stuff like that. GTA Plus, maybe we all have, maybe we had to go through that for for a reason and i think this is finally the reason that we're getting there's finally light at the end of the tunnel for gta online 10 years later yeah but we're going to be getting more updates and the gameplay overall is going to be improved greatly we finally finally have a bright future ahead of us for gta online and i would love to hear your guys thoughts down below in the comments this is all very very exciting stuff the new update should be coming anytime soon now and i'm also very excited for that so let me know what you guys think of the video please remember to drop a like and subscribe if you haven't already and i'll be sure to touch up on some news when we start getting news about the new update whether it be a trailer or whatnot but i will be sure to let you guys know immediately once we get that information so subscribe Subscribe if you'd like to see more of that, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.